Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to rank all of the agility characters. As you guys can see on the screen, I finally sorted them out before starting this video, so it wouldn't take too long. But before we get started on any of the rankings, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below, and let's get started. So first, we have Black Canary. Um, obviously, D. Harley Quinn, D. Joker, D. You could argue that um, Joker could be useful in some situations where you want him to um, stun the opponent, but you don't want to lose a character for that. Robin, oh my god. Actually, all of these characters are a bit more better than Robin. Because Robin, his passive, let me go check right now. But I, if I recall correctly, his passive is basically you have a chance every time you tag in to get a fast attack hit. So it's... It's almost like fast attack wasn't planned to be part of the game. It was more of a chance. So it says 15% chance for basic attacks to count as two hits. That's bait. That's literally fast attack. He is the worst agility character. Oh, never mind. I have spoken too soon. Catwoman also joins the D tier characters. Harley Quinn. I would say she is a good character on her own. Blade Master Robin, C. Unhinged Harley Quinn, C. She does have, um, she could take away an opponent and, you know, make it on your team, but I feel like 25% is a little bit too low. Starfire, B. Good, but I think the her passive is outdated. Classic Batman, honestly, I haven't played too much of him, but he seems really cool, so I would say B. Hush, I have no idea. I have never played as him. I'll just put him at B because that is like the good. That's a great. I mean, that's not great. That's not bad. It's just good. Catwoman, A. Just because of her invincibility or immortal, whatever it's called, passive, she makes onto the A tier. But her other passives suck. Like if you block a special attack, she's going to do her special three and the opponent is going to block that and then you're left you're just left there for a hit wonder woman an s level s plus because she does so much for so many characters in solo rates that it's crazy bad woman honestly i think a b but i've seen so many people use her that i'm tempted to say a because i have not used her she is um she's often put in multiverse teams so and a lot of multiverse teams to make that it just makes it seem like she's a really really good character i don't know i'll just put it at b because i haven't i have no idea agility for white canary awful robin king s helps a lot he helps bad woman the drone a lot black canary c yeah c if hers lasted way longer and she gave the entire team that passive so like everybody's special one on her team blo disables block would be that would be pretty cool justice league batman b he's able to ignore one special attack actually no c because that's pretty trash um uh, deathstroke s he does really good damage with his special two and solo raids and he's a pretty good character overall batman ninja joker he can one shot. He can be the one holding the Zatanna puppet while the other one is holding the Beatty Club. So it's like really, he's pretty good. Robin, he is very good. He does a lot for the Batman Ninja team one shots. Harley Quinn, C. I would put her at D, but with just by having Harley Quinn in your roster at like, I don't know, six stars or maybe like ascended like I do, she's going to make your entire Batman Ninja team. Even if she's not on the team, extremely stronger. She's like, you just keep getting more attack because of Harley Quinn being on your roster. So she existing is good enough. Arkham Knight Batman, A, a pretty good character. I like that he stuns and that he gets critical hits, um, automatic critical hits when they're stunned and use another ability. Ooh, we have the last two. These are one of the best. I think Harley Quinn uh, definitely out wins the joker on this 
she is really good joker could be good but it could take a little bit of trial trial and error to try and get a one shot with joker but i think this is one of these shortest actually no there's the class the classes underneath agility are pretty low too we don't have too many characters in every agility in every class i mean but yeah definitely wonder woman is very very good heartbreaker harley quinn very good robin king good joker good deathstroke good robin good i think all of these are pretty good i would just say i don't know about bad woman and hush i've never played as them so but definitely a lot of them are in the lower category but let me just say even if they're d tier characters some of the trash some of the worst characters ever agility characters are probably still stronger than a lot of the tech meta humans mites arcanes because they have their ascended passives once they have their ascended passives they are extremely strong and they do they they just you don't mess around you don't mess around with them because they're extremely strong but i think that that's pretty much it for this ranking because honestly you should invest in classic wonder woman for your solo raids heartbreaker harley quinn for solo raids robin king for solo raids deathstroke for solo raids robin for solo raids batman ninja lord joker if you want to use him you don't have to use him you could use other characters but if you want to you could you could always invest in him art guard knight batman you could either pick john stewart or batman for your bad woman the drone one shot and besides that everybody else here you don't have to pay attention to you do not need to build any of these characters up so it's just joker robin deathstroke robin king heartbreaker harley quinn and classic wonder woman for arena and champions arena they're all pretty good like any one of these characters from classic batman all the way up to classic wonder woman you could build up any of those i don't know about hush again and i don't know about batwoman so but all these other characters you don't you're not gonna really get any useful usefulness out of building them up so just pretty much b tier characters and up but yeah that was it for today's video make sure you guys like comment subscribe and let me know if you have a different opinion on a certain character on this ranking maybe you think robin king is s plus maybe you think harley quinn is c and starfire is also c maybe you think bad woman the drown is s plus who knows everybody has different opinions and different experiences so just let me know down in the comments below but yeah i'll see you guys next time bye <laughs>